Kusama tells the story of her first day in New York, and that is that she went to the top of the Empire State Building, and she looked down and she saw this whole city, and she said, this is my place, and I'm going to make it here, and this is, you know, I'm going to have it, I'm going to have it all. Kusama arrived in New York with a big stack of relatively small watercolors that she had made in Japan. Within 18 months, she was making huge paintings. I had never seen anything like it before. There wasn't ever anything like it before. Kusama had an exhibition, and it was quite successful, just made up of these white infinity net paintings. And she says that they came out of her uh, hallucinations that she had as, uh, from the time that she was a child, of these nets kind of taking over the entire world that she inhabited. Kusama was kind of a genius for publicity. Whatever she wore, you noticed her. And this is clearly an attempt to draw attention to herself and distinguish herself from everybody else in the environment. Later on, she goes on to present herself in the nude, which is a very charged way of presenting oneself. The accumulation sculptures are, um, they're made of baby carriages, armchairs, sofas, and she attaches to them um, stuffed elements that look like erect phalluses. The penis chairs, she calls them the penis chairs herself. It just seemed to her that it was a good way of describing these chairs. She has a good, a good eye for what catches attention. And if she'd called them the banana chairs, they probably wouldn't have been as interesting to so many people. Maybe, maybe so many people wouldn't have wanted to sit on them, but I can tell you, we have to fight to keep people off this chair. Kusama has talked about her art as being quote unquote art medicine. People sometimes think she suffered for her art, but I think it's the other way around. I think that she suffered without her art. And so um, as her work becomes increasingly dematerialized, as it moves from painting to sculpture to installation to performance, uh, and as it becomes less and less obsessive compulsive, I think it, it ceases to um, nurture her in the same way and you see things break down for her. What happened with Kusama that is fascinating is that given the success that she had early on in New York, she didn't sell out. She's a person who had been through an awful lot from times when she was supported and highly noticed and recognized to the times when she was absolutely ignored. And the press or the media likes to note the sensational parts, but there's a much bigger story, which hopefully films can start to tell. Those early pieces of hers are just as alive and fresh today as when she made them. Now you know what? You can't say that about very many artists.